Brian, tell us about your system, your cutting system. Well, I like the uh, handsaw here, always on my saddle, making some of those small, fine cuts. And then I'll lug up a chainsaw for some of the bigger cuts. And you get out on the branch tips. Pull it off. Pulling this up into the tree. But one problem I find is having the blade exposed as I'm pulling up the rope. Sometimes I'll nick the rope or if I have it dangling on my saddle, it's a bit of a safety hazard. Clip it onto the saddle. I can reach out and make some nice cuts as well. One of the problems I gotta, one of the things I watch out for is this exposed blade here. So, a little bit of an issue having two different saws. Alright, hey, I'm Jonathan from Out on a Limb Tree Service. This is the way we do it now. Combination hand pull saw right here. Sits safely in the feet, right at my side. Blade safely put away. Have a great hand saw reach, cut, whatever I need to do with my handsaw. But the real advantage is there's a push pin button right here. I release it. Handle spins 180, slides forward. That allows this piece now to go into my pole saw. So it slides right into my pole saw here. Click it in place. There's my pole saw. Works great. The real advantage with the pole saw is the handle is up out of the way of the blade. So if I need to grab a rope, this rope right here, I'm grabbing it on. If the rope touches the blade, it's the dull side of the blade. So the handle's up out of the way. It's a lot safer. Great pole saw. And then I'm all done pole sawing. Just pop it out, spin it around. Click it into place. Clicks in right there. There's my handsaw. Safely put away. That's the way we do it now. Only one tool instead of two. So here's a new and improved combination pole handsaw. Sits in your sheath nice and comfortable. Really great, comfortable handsaw. But then you release this push button in the back. It spins 180 degrees, slides all the way forward like that, and slides into your pole saw. So now the grab hook is out of the way when you're using the pole saw to cut, and more importantly, when you're reaching up to grab ropes, the ropes don't drag on the sharp side of the blade. The ropes are protected on the back of the blade.